Hey, what is up guys? Apple Advanced here. Kind of going to show you guys how to download Providence back again on your iOS 9.3.3, 9.3.4, or you can be on the iOS 10 betas. Now, I do not know if this will work on devices that are lower than iOS 9.3.3. So if you're on a device such as that, then um, you're going to have to watch the whole video through and see for yourself if it works for you. But anyways, guys, if you go on to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. And let's begin with today's so tutorial so it's actually quite easy but first off i just like to say that this is a very hard thing to sometimes actually do it's a glitch that has just been recently found out and it's not that easy um for me i have to practice it a couple times um and you know sometimes i even record videos sometimes over and over again because i actually do this glitch about three times in a row in one video showing you you know how to download this and it just fails so hopefully this time it will actually download all the way because this glitch is very sensitive and you have to be very fast and quick but at the same time you have to make sure your internet's not too fast for you but you'll basically see that once we um once we download providence which is a gba um game boy advance and game boy color emulator that can also play sega master system snes nes and much more um so let's just get right into it you want to head over to the link in the description below and it'll take you to the site right here iinstaller.net once you're on iinstaller you just want to scroll down until you can find this download button now click it and it should redirect you to your settings application and this little prompt should pop up on your screen now if it does not do that just go back to that link click it again and then see if it does exactly what my screen is doing right now so let's say install profile I just want to click install Put in your password from there. Um, you know, follow all the steps. It'll say like click install, click done. And once you click install and done and all that type of stuff, then this should pop up on your screen. This application right here, and it'll say click the top left corner for GUI. Click the top left corner of your screen. It'll say apps, IGBU coming soon, coming soon, settings and about. You just want to click apps, and from there you want to scroll down so you can find this little controller looking icon. Go ahead and click on it. And once you click on it, you want to click install. Now, if this uh, once you do this glitch, um, if you fail to actually do the glitch, 100% delete the application provenance, the one that you just downloaded, and go back into this app and download the whole process again. Or else, because if you click retry once, if it, if you fail to do it, then it'll ask you, would you like to retry it or would you just like to click done? So you want to click done, delete the application, and start over. And that is one thing that people um, need to listen to, or else they're just going to keep trying when it's literally going to be impossible to if they want to retry. So one comment on my other video showing you how to download another thing using the same exact method said they had to try 10 times for this to actually work so you have to be very dedicated if you want this to work just let it load up and then out of nowhere it should start to speed up very fast and once it starts to speed up very fast like that you want to turn on airplane mode and from there it should glitch and then turn into provenance um it's, it's basically that easy but at the same time it's actually pretty hard you have to make sure that your internet not going so fast where it downloads like like super fast um, because if your internet's too fast for you, then it may become a struggle for you. But if your internet's slow, it's actually going to be a blessing this time. So once you do this glitch and Providence is on your screen, once you click on it, it's going to say you untrusted enterprise developer. It's actually quite easy to get rid of this so you can access the app. You just want to make sure you turn off airplane mode and then you go back into settings. Once you're in settings, you want to go to settings general scroll down to find profiles and device management and on some you know devices it'll just say device management once you click on profiles and device management you want to scroll down so you can find enterprise app then uh, click the one that belongs to Providence go ahead and click trust a prompt should come up saying would you like to trust it or not go ahead and click trust and from there it'll say trusting and it'll load up and boom you'll have GBA for iOS um, sort of like a GBA for iOS emulator on your iOS device so if GBA for iOS stops working for you I recommend doing this method because this method is, is far greater than GBA for iOS because you can do way more things um, 
you could download way more games, way more uh, different types of console things. Um, so that's why I recommend downloading Providence instead of GBA for iOS. But I mean, GBA for iOS does have cheat codes. So if you are into cheat codes and stuff like that, Providence does not allow that. I guess they just don't have it implemented yet. I don't know if they will. But basically, that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down on this video. You know, it always helps out. It makes me want to make more videos in the end. And remember, if this video did not work for you, and you, you really have been trying this so many times, check out my channel and maybe check if this is an old video. Um, and check out my channel if I made any new, maybe GBA for iOS videos, because maybe you're just downloading this for the Game Boy games. Check if I made any recently made GBA for iOS videos, or check if I made any vi new videos on Providence. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down on this video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. This has been Apple Advance, and see you guys.